College of Biblical Studies and Allison, welcome. You're not in the shot. Oh. Hi, I'm Allison from the College of Biblical Studies and welcome to my good side. And welcome to my other side. See now I feel like I should stay over here or should I move back over there? <laughs> I'll move back over. You're gonna move back over. I, I like this side better. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allison from the College of Biblical Studies, and welcome to this week's episode of the CBS Insider. This week's question is, I've heard that the Bible has over 200 contradictions. There are obviously textual errors in the Bible. How can you say that it is inerrant? And the answer comes from Dr. Loken again. He's our answer guru lately. And it is, when the claim is made that the Bible is inerrant, the reference is to the original autographs as authored by the prophets through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Just as a prophet could not make an error in the things they said, the same applies to the things they wrote. Unfortunately, we do not currently possess any of these original autographs. What we do possess are manuscript copies of the original autographs. These copies were made by fallible human beings, therefore they are themselves faulty. Fortunately, the science of textual criticism is, to, is able to discover and fix almost every error in our current manuscripts. We are confident that no major doctrine of the Bible is affected by manuscript errors. So that's our answer for this week. If you can think of any specific contradictions that you've heard or that your friends have asked you about, go ahead and comment below and maybe we can come up with some specific responses or maybe have some discussion about that. Make sure you follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash biblical studies, Twitter at CBS Houston, and follow our blog, cbshouston.edu slash blog. Let us know your comments and your questions and we will see you next week.